Corey, what are you, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, just trying to get some sleep here. I need some sleep. Why aren't you in your bed? My bed's so dull and boring. I thought I'd try something different here. Oh, well, maybe you wouldn't be so bored sleeping if you had an aquarium bed. Would I? Is it noon? Oh, it's noon! Hey everybody, thanks for staying up till noon. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Corey. Yeah. Hey, you got my name I right. I did it, I did it. Corey did it. Slumber, sweet slumber. Maybe you sleep, maybe you don't. Maybe you're like us, where we don't sleep that often. We're so tired. <laughs> but maybe we sleep more oh, if pillow. we had a nice oh, bed. Maybe our beds are kind of boring. Maybe we need a better bed. And that is this episode. This episode is... The, the most, most amazing, amazing beds ever. ever! So yes, most amazing beds ever. Um, this one was actually a lot of fun to do in terms of... Clapping your hands. In terms of looking for, because there are a million cool beds out there. Yeah, like, when you said when you said let's do this episode, I'm thinking boring. Yeah, like, exactly. Like how come can, on beds? But the people who made these beds, beds? clearly are like thinking of, beds are only exciting when you you're, know you're, it. Yeah, <laughs> but the, it's like they're thinking that there's. <laughs> There's, these are meant to be enjoyed when not sleeping. That's yeah, the thing. They yeah. don't improve sleep. That's the thing. That's what makes these beds awesome because we don't sleep that much. So I'm going to take it away at the first one. Take a look at this picture, Corey. Um, look how many people are in this bed. <laughs> like, There's at least like, uh, I'd say about like 50 people maybe. Maybe a little bit less. There's a lot of people in the bed. Um, that bed is actually labeled the biggest bed in the world. Um, it was designed solely to be a record setter. Obviously, nobody's going to want to buy a big bed. <laughs> what were they sleeping on? Just on the ground? No, it's like, it's a bed. Like, it's an actual bed frame. Like, like, on, like and a mattress? Like, I, I wonder I, what I, that is. I don't know what they're sleeping wow. on, but it is technically a bed. Uh, the Guinness World Record for the largest bed is held um, 86 feet long and 54 feet wide. <laughs> That's wow. a long bed. It doesn't say how many people, though, eh? Uh, it was created by a group of designers in the Netherlands and debuted in uh, May of 2011. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty amazing bed. Like, <laughs> it, not only is it the biggest bed in the world, but it's also a record breaker. Like, you can't get much like much cooler than that. That's a lot of people, though. You can technically say you slept with 50 people if you were in that bed. This one, this next one here, I would love to do this. Sir. I think it'd be so cool, even though I can't swim. <laughs> Um, but if you ever wanted to, to sleep under the sea, and we don't mean with the fishes, we don't mean dead with the fishes, um, then Conrad Maldives Reg Regally <laughs> oh, Island that Resort. Guy. That no, that island resort. Oh, resort. Uh, <laughs> not even the guy. So shut up. Um, <laughs> offers you the chance to make your dreams come true. Um, you got to be pretty wealthy. I would guess to do this because I can only imagine but um, this bed is situated 15 feet below the surface of the Indian Ocean and you can gaze up through the sloping glass walls at calming critters like sharks, eels and jellyfish. You can actually sweep sweep? <laughs> you can sweep, <laughs> sweep right? Pay money to sweep. You can actually sleep in an aquarium basically. Yeah and uh, the picture that we have here is of an actual we do have uh, the aquarium bed, that, which Corey was speaking of, but we also have a, an actual aquarium bed in which you can actually purchase for your house. Um, and I thought that's just like cool, but yeah, it's it is. so expensive, eh? Eleven thousand five hundred dollars for that one specific bed that can be installed in your house, which I guess like is expensive. But the only reason why it's expensive is because it's like carved nicely and has an arc. That goes over your bed. Is it eleven thousand five hundred for that aquarium, for or, is this, it, or is it for, for for like one night to stay I, in that other? No, it's for the bed. It's oh, for it this is? bed. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure what what it is for the price of that but resort. That, that would be fantastic to do. Like, yeah, can you imagine that? It would be awesome to have. I kind of want that bed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this one is. We can um, we can relate to this one. <laughs> yeah. Snow. This one is pretty cool. I really like this one. Um, these are labeled as the Northern Lights Igloo beds. And check out these these pictures, Corey. So. That um, is, oh wow. That's cool, eh? Yeah, that's amazing. And like, the view is just insane. Um, so that being said, um, while uh, the various log cabin accommodations at the Hotel K 
Kaklitfinin <laughs> are amazing. It's uh, it's not the um, that's not their main focus in these epi- uh, in these uh, in sleeping at at this uh, hotel. Their uh, major uh, thing that they try to sell people is these glass igloos um, that they obviously being uh, in the Arctic. Uh, it's a hot spot for northern lights. So yep. have the whole the whole room is basically just an igloo made up of glass, as you'll see in the pictures. Um, and obviously, you know, they have heat. Like you're not going to be freezing. <laughs> it's not like a real igloo. It's just a glass igloo. Um, so guests can observe uh, the stars and obviously the northern lights from the comfort of their beds. And it's actually not that expensive. Six hundred dollars a night. But I guess it's getting there, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, six hundred dollars a night. The reason why it's so cheap because they want people to fly out there, right? Yeah. And people make... who people who don't know much about the north there, it's not very accessible. Yeah, it's and really difficult. To flying get. flying there, you only in small aircraft fly, and it is expensive. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's... the only cheaper. But the only cheap. Look at the pictures, really though. Do. Yeah, that's like, awesome. That'd right? be so worth it. Like sleeping in in a cool bed, like wake, that. wake up to a polar bear's n- <laughs> nuts on top, doing of, it on, on top of the the glass. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. I I I can dig it. I can dig an igloo bed. These this, these next beds too are very cool. I think we have a few pictures there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pictures there. They're the high tech beds, and this Italian designer calls them the the high can, and it's a high fidelity canopy. The high can features beautifully designed equipment that allows you to surf the web, watch movies, play games, and listen to music all from the comfort of your bed. You can see the, the pictures there. It's like it's basically like you're in, encapsulated in the in, yeah exactly eh? in technology i mean it's, yeah it's basically just like a a big cube with a tv screen like you know very neat it is very cool yeah and the bed provides a lot of technology at your fingertips from the moment you wake up it's a perfect tool to make your life more sedentary sedentary <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean you get a projector sound system projection screen dvd player i mean probably Probably not DVD player anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is like this is a pretty old bell. I mean, five years so old. I'm sure they, I'm sure they've, it's got like media players and everything, but oh, even a mini fridge. Well, there you go. Price for the bed sixty grand. <laughs> is it worth it? Probably not, but it's still a pretty cool bed. It is really cool. Bed. I mean, I mean, it's, I guess it's, it's just. It's all built into it, yeah, as, exactly. opposed to, as opposed to sitting with your yeah. tab- tablet on your lap, whatever. But I wonder, does it like fold? Like, does the bed fold? I don't because, know. like, let's say I'm wanting to move to a new house, right? And I want to bring this bed. It looks like it's one full yeah. piece. <laughs> Do you have to hack it? I have no hack idea. Hack it in, right in half and put it into the other half of it. I guess you also pay for the comfort. Like, it's obviously yeah, it's obviously built for ergonomics and, sit, and, and sitting up and, nice. And, and style, right? It's, it's really sleek looking yeah, in terms neat. of very nice and... Totally like futuristic. That's pretty cool. Um, this one is one of my <laughs> one of my favorites. Um, this is a sofa bed. Uh, it has removable covers and integrated and patented mechanism that transforms it into bunk bed. So it's a regular couch basically that goes into a, a bunk bed. That is neat. Um, it's called the dock. Uh, acts as a sofa by day and with a simple movement becomes two beds with integrated supporting ladder and and protection. So I actually have a video I want to show you, Corey, and you guys will be able to see it as well. So this is a girl who's just putting the, the bed together. Like, it's really cool. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> That's cool, that eh? That is so neat. Get and out. Then, and then the ladder. The support and the ladder. Yeah. Just took you that long? Hurry up! <laughs> yeah, jeez. Jeez. Pretty cool, that eh? That is really neat. So, we should get this bed for our channel. <laughs> no kidding. Sofa bed. That's pretty cool. I think that would be one of the cooler things. The only thing is, I looked it up, and they don't make it anymore. Uh, they make copies of it, but all the reviews are pretty shitty in regards to it. They're all like, this thing isn't isn't as good as the predecessor. You know, it's the you want to get the major and main one, you can't get it. These actually sell it. It's actually Amazon who supposedly sold it like for the longest time, hmm. um, but they stopped selling it. Um, I don't know why. Maybe the demand was too high that maybe they couldn't keep up with with production. Um, but yeah, the newer ones, people complain of like like getting their like hands like stuck in like the the mechanisms and stuff like that. So I if guess, you're looking yeah. for one, make sure you read the reviews because some of these can be pretty uh, pretty 
pretty deadly on on your body parts, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, before we finish here, I just I don't know if we were able to, or yeah, I don't know if we were able to get any pictures or anything for it. But I just want to mention one that we didn't throw in here. But have you heard of the the ice hotels? Oh yeah, that's right. So, yeah. So I mean, it's not really an amazing bed. Like we don't, we're not showcasing that bed. But can you imagine just having an ice bed? Yeah. Like these ice hotels, you have a bed with a mattress on it, but it's a block of ice. So if I can find a picture, I'll shoot yeah, it up here. Yeah, I'm sure we can find one. And it's basically just you're sleeping on a block of ice in, and it's, in an ice hotel, and which, it is is, which, cool. which is phenomenal. Like, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm a really warm sleeper, um, so sleeping on a mattress that is covered in ice would probably be like the most comfortable sleep yeah. I'll probably ever have. But yeah. We'll shoot that up there for yeah. you. <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, I'm sure we'll find it. We're prepared. It. <laughs> if we don't find it, then... We're prepared, I said. Tough luck. You can just look it up on your own. <laughs> We're prepared. Anyways, so comment down below what you think of the beds. Um, of course, if you have any other cool beds um, that you would like to, us to know or maybe know some interesting facts about them, let us know and we'll check them out. And uh, we'd appreciate your insights on the episode as well. Please like and share the video. Like and share the video. Please like and share the video. And as well, subscribe. Uh, that way you can see our uh, daily updates Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Visit our website, www.uptillnoon.com. Quick access to all of our social media links and some merch. That being said, merch. We've got mugs. $20 a mug. We've got two designs. You can see them on our website or you can see them on Facebook. Uh, we also have a t-shirt. Uh, cool t-shirt. That's going to be 30 bucks shipped to your door. Um, so if you're interested, let us know. Contact us at our email, which is contact at uptillnoon.com. And we will uh, hit you back and let you know on how to purchase them. Um, and as always, guys, thanks, thanks for, for staying, staying up till noon. noon. Hey everyone, wasn't that a great episode? Click above me to see our previous video. If you're binge watching and want to check out the next one, click right up here. Check us out on all social media's finest platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our Google Plus, and our Snapchat username is up till noon. Visit our website above, uptillnoon.com. We'll take you to where you want to go for all our social media links. Yeah!